So we're in Clovis, California. We just finished replacing this tub spout, and this is a product directly from Kohler. You've got a we've got Kohler faucet in there, Kohler trim. So we wanted to use a Kohler product, not just a cheap little spout from Home Depot. Uh, so, anyways, we bought a couple just to see if there's a difference in the sizing, and they both fit about the same. This one screwed on a little bit further, so we opted to use this one. The other one we'll just put back in the bag and use it on a future project or return it. Um, one problem we had, as you can see on this side, it's hard to tell because my camera is on the left side of the phone, but if you can see, there's a pretty substantial gap around this side where the spout is away from the wall. But if you come over to this side and you look, and of course, let me get in there so I can see as well, you can see there's not a gap, okay? And uh, there's a little bit at the bottom, but no gap, so the spout itself is touching the wall. And that looked weird. It was showing me the reflection of my phone. <laughs> um, so it's touching the wall on this side, and then it's away from on this side. So what's happening is, you know, when you plumb something out of this wall, it needs to come out straight. In other words, if you were to take a, a square and put it on the wall at a right angle, it would turn straight out at a 90 degrees. And so what we do when we plumb is we do we put a square on the wall and we put the square and we put the pipe against it. We make sure that it's completely straight heading out this way. Additionally, when you're looking, you can see the tile line there. When you stub out the tub spout, you don't want it pointing down and you don't want it pointing up because when you put the trim on, it creates a gap. So in this case, the gap would be on the bottom. And if you do that, gaps on the top. So this one is crooked. It's pointing out the way that it comes out of the wall. It's pointing out just very slightly to the left. And so it's tightened down all the way. We re reused the brass nipples in there, which are great. So there were two brass nipples, a brass coupling. We tightened them down, put new pipe dope on there so those are good, and then tighten this down. And it is secure, so it's not going to leak. There's not going to be problems with it, but it does leave this small gap. It's not significant, but it is a gap. So we just took some clear silicone, squeezed it in there, wiped it off, let it dry for you know the next 12, next 12 hours or so before you get water on it. And then, uh, and then you're good to go. So anyways, we're going to test this out real quick. Outside of that, this installation is done.